Hi, I'm Eric from US Broadcast Distribution, and today we've got the Ada 4K HDMI camera here. And on the back is uh, an HDMI output, um, an IO for power and RS-485 and other control, and iris to connect to the lens, uh, if it's a controllable lens. Uh, on the front here, we have a CS mount lens. Uh, in this case, it's a 3.2 mil, but the, we'll take any CS or C mount lens. And what we're going to do today is we're going to connect it to an Inageni HDMI to USB 3.0 converter. And we're going to try a little bit of 4K region of interest in vMix. Let's see how it goes. We have the camera hooked up uh, to vMix. And you can see it's got a really wide angle uh, lens on it. You can see a lot of the room behind me. And down here in vMix, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a virtual input. And I'm going to zoom in on that input because we're bringing the camera in 4K. We can actually zoom in up to four times. And that allows us to create a region of interest that we can then zoom to using the merge function in vMix. We can zoom in on any part of the image just by creating as many of these as we like. So you can create one of these for each council member at a town hall, uh, every speaker, um, different guests on a talk show. So I'll frame this shot up a little bit differently. Put that in my preview and transition to it. So I've created, I've got three different virtual positions that I can zoom to just as if I was using a PTZ camera. And we're able to do that seamlessly. We can govern the speed of the transition uh, by this number here if you want that to happen more slowly. Here's going to be a long, slow transition. Or we could make that a very fast transition as well. So that is using the new Ada 4K camera to do region of interest in vMix, which is a very powerful function. And if you have any questions on the new 4K camera or using it with vMix, please feel free to reach out to U.S. Broadcast Distribution or visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash U.S. Broadcast. Thanks.